Hi, in this video I'm going to look at the corneal reflex, which is another one of the brainstem reflexes. And this is a reflex that causes the eyelids to involuntarily blink when the cornea is touched. So let's have a look at how this works. A stimulus, which is usually a touch, is applied to the cornea of the eye. And this is the cornea here. It's the clear bit of the eye. Now there are sensory nerves in the cornea that pick up this touch. These nerves are the nasociliary branch of the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve. Now the cell body for these nerves is in the semilunar ganglion. This is a ganglia, so it's outside the CNS. And these nerves then project into the brainstem to the spinal nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. And this is one of the nuclei of the fifth cranial nerve, which is a trigeminal nerve. Now this nucleus runs all the way up and down the brainstem. And now this is where it gets a bit more complicated because we have to consider the left and right side of the brain. Now there are two nuclei, one on each side of the brainstem, and these are the facial motor nuclei. And these are the nuclei that make up part of the seventh cranial nerve, which is the facial nerve. And now there are interneurons between the spinal nucleus of 5 and the motor nucleus of 7. Then the motor nuclei of 7 have nerves which project out from there. Now these project onto a ring of muscle which surround the eye and this nerve is the temporal branch of the facial nerve. And this muscle that it projects onto is called orbicularis oculi. And that causes that ring of muscle to contract and causes both the eyes to blink. Now this means that a touch to one eye sends a signal to both sides of the brain stem, which then send an efferent signal out to the eyes on each side, causing both eyes to blink. And that's an overview of the corneal reflex.